Hello everyone, this is John from Nevermore Antiques and I am going to take a hot minute here. We're going to talk about some of the items that I have sold on eBay over the past three days. I have sold quite a bit. Uh, we've still been really busy. We're averaging probably about 200 bucks a day in sales and we've been sustaining that level of sales for probably a little over a week now, probably like eight to nine days. Um, We've really uh, had a lot of packages going out. It's been crazy. The store has been absolutely insane. We had our uh, Fredericktown Christmas parade tonight, and all day we had a Christmas celebration in downtown Fredericktown, and uh, we had probably 150 people come through the store, which is fantastic. We made a ton of money, and I'm hoping to use that money to buy more stuff to go back into the store to make it even more exciting for the customers when they walk through. We had a lot of positive uh, praise. Uh, a lot of uh, people just kept going on and on about how great the store looked, which made me feel awesome because it's my baby. And I really want people to be happy when they walk in the door. I want them to feel like they're walking into the past. And to me, there's no better way to do that than to just... Uh, create an atmosphere that's conducive for like you know nostalgia so let's hop into this because we're not talking about the store today we're talking about what I sold on eBay over the past three days so the first item that I have here is a pair of these absolutely gorgeous teal and black who would not want to wear these uh, Western ethics uh, I have black jeans blue jeans I don't know I bought all of these last February and I'm still selling them, and I can't wait for them to all be gone. Bye bye. I want them. I want them gone. Um, takes up a lot of room. I have one left. So if anyone needs a size five black and teal pant for your rodeo, for your rodeoing, go on over and purchase them. I got one pair left. Uh, these sold for fifteen ninety six and four ninety five shipping and handling. And not only do I have the pants. But I got this lovely vest to go with it, so you too can be stylish. You too can party like it's 1989 and Garth Brooks is your prom date. I sold this for $12.76 and uh, $4.95 shipping and handling. Actually, I combined shipping. I combined the two items, and it went out like a flash to somebody. God bless them. Um, hopefully, they really enjoy their new outfit. Ah, looky here. We thought that we were done, and we are not. We have another, but at least this one's like a cream color, so it's not too bad. It looks pretty good. Uh, we've got one more of these. I had two of them. So, yeah, hopefully we get that sold too, get that gone. Uh, four ninety five shipping on that, $15 is what we sold it for. I probably had a buck in it. <coughs> um, we've got this awesome... Barbie horse. I sold it for seven sixteen and charged seven thirty two shipping. It actually went first class mail, so it got there quicker and cheaper. So that was the plus plus for the customer. Um, we made a little bit of money on it, not a lot. I had like fifty cents in it, so I don't mind selling something for seven bucks. Whatever, I'm gonna make five bucks. Put five bucks in my hand, I'm definitely okay with that. Let's see here. The next item that I have is this really cool. It's about like that big around. But it was a vintage Metal Eagles, like a copper penny or something like that. We sold it for $15.16, which is really cool. Um, it's gone. It is hopefully in someone's pocket. Uh, this is an Imperial Crown perfume bottle. It was made in St. Louis. Uh, it's really cool. Very rare. I thought I would put it on for auction. And it was two thumbs down. It didn't bring what I thought it should have brought. I figured it was about a $50, $60 piece. And I only got $19.95 out of it. But there's nothing you can do about it. Hindsight's 2020. It ain't like I uh, was told by a good buddy to list it for 15 bucks, And it was like worth 35 But anyways. Um, sorry, Dusty. Just messing with you. Um, but uh, it, it sold. So it's gone. It's cool. Um... This is a self-titled 8-track, good U-shape, 716, like 3 bucks to ship it, and uh, I made $4 on it. I bought it from Goodwill, it was in fantastic shape, and so I made 3 dollars on it. 
925, it was horrible. Needed to be cleaned something bad. The pictures are horrible. Uh, but I like to give a shout out to Anita Vanita. She's a good friend of mine. And she's the one that's taught me a lot about jewelry. I sold this uh, for 25 bucks, free shipping. Um, but I probably had like two bucks in it. So it was a good flip. Uh, made good money on it. This is kind of cool. It's a Jewish piece of jewelry. It's a like a little pendant, little brooch. I sold it for 25 bucks and 366 shipping. They um, were pretty happy. Uh, I'm sure they'll be happy when they get it because it's an extremely nice piece. Uh, it's cool, and uh, I can't. Remember. It's by Wolf Wolpert or something like that. Is the uh, company that makes it. I actually have two of these, and I bought them for 50 cents. So that was uh, about 20. I'll be about 50 dollars for a 50 cent investment. Again, I've told you guys, tennis rackets, tennis rackets, tennis rackets. These old tennis rackets sell fantastic. You need to be buying them. These are great items. I sold them for 20 bucks. I had a 50 cents a piece in them, so I had two bucks in them. And I got, and they paid shipping on top. The shipping on top is the gravy and uh, works out fantastic. This is a cool item. This I bought at the auction the other night. I bought a little bag of stuff, and it had like some... Hot Wheels cars and some toys and some pencils and some supplies like desks, like desk uh, stuff you'd find in a desk, like a stapler and weird stuff like that. But in the bottom was that. And I think somebody cleared out a desk drawer, dumped it in this bag, and it got taken to the auction. And that was a world, it's actually more of a World War One, but it's a Wittenauer pocket compass. This one here had a little bit of damage to it. Um, I don't know, like. It was pretty good, pretty good condition, um, but I sold it. It sold real quick, and I had absolutely uh, next to nothing in it, so that worked out really, really well. Um, this is a vintage Barbie fashion case that I picked up at an auction. It came packed full of Barbie stuff. This had coat hangers, accessories. I put three Barbie dolls in it. I sold it for $29.95, full mark, out the door, they paid shipping and it was in really good shape it was really a cool case not a lot of no rips or tears or a lot of stains um, it was just a good buy for whoever got it um, I sold a pair of these Lunar Air Force One sneakers they were pretty cool they sold for 20 I think I took an offer for $20 and um, I took uh, it was like they paid shipping so 731 shipping which was a really good deal. I had them listed for a while, so I was happy to get rid of them. Um, I had a four-piece mechanics. I bought a ton of these. This is a bad buy that I'm still trying to get out from under. I spent like 70 bucks on a ton of drill bits, and I am slowly getting out of them. This was 1271 Shipped. It probably cost $7 to ship it, and I probably made absolutely no money on it. But sometimes it's better to get back a little bit of your money and write it off as a loss than to just set on the product and hope that one day you'll get a ton of money out of it. Sometimes you just got to clear inventory. And right now I'm running, this was ran at 25% off, so I'm either doing 25 or 20% off. Um, right now I'm running 20% off uh, to just clear out some old merchandise and to get some money coming in. This is cool. This is my buddy Paulie. He uh, cleaned this up for me. He put it in his uh, electrolysis tank. Or his uh, actually didn't use electrolysis. He used lye. He cleaned it up for me. This thing was absolutely hideous. He cleaned it up, made it beautiful. I sold it for sixteen forty six, which it was probably worth more along the lines of what I had it listed for. But it sold. I had literally nothing in it. It was giving to him. In, to me, I didn't have to do any of the cleaning, nothing. I just provided him with lye, and he um, cleans all my pots for me. With shipping on top, it would have been whatever, one to two pounds uh, to wherever it was going. Uh, let's see here. Fortnite blankets. I need to relist these because I still have several of them. Um, I bought some of these when they were on clearance. This was a great buy. Fortnite still kind of hot. Um, a lot of the kids are kind of moving away from it, but... It's still pretty hot. A lot of kids are wanting it, and uh, I sold both of them. It sold for seventeen sixty-two, and uh, it was free shipping. So, yeah, I didn't make a ton, but I think I paid two or three bucks for them on clearance. 
Um, this is cool. This is two packages of angel hair. The lady was ecstatic. She told me thank you so much for listing them. She was happy that I listed them, and she's hopefully uh, going to get this. It'll look great on her tree. Uh, it went first class, so it probably went for about five bucks. I literally got this in a huge buy. I made tons of money off of it. It was all Christmas related. And this is just some of the little stuff that I was like, I'll list it just to get it gone. Let's see here. Another NIV Bible. This is a Zondervan Bible. I sold it for $14.96. And it's a reference letter, red letter edition, burgundy with the built-in tabs. When you see a Bible with the built-in tabs like that, these are a lot more sought after. They uh, People definitely want to buy a Bible like that. If you see those, typically you can get about 15 bucks out of it. I paid a quarter for this at a thrift shop. Um, these were some napkin rings. I bought this. I got a tote of stuff. And this was just some W.M. Rogers silver plate that came in there. No, I got this from an estate sale on the, like, fill a bag day or... I can't remember. I got it cheap. I sold it for six thirty six. I think I paid 50 cents for it. And they paid shipping. So I'm not getting rich on some of this stuff. But it's feedback. Feedback is important. I'll sell some low ticket items to keep my feedback built up. That way it pushes off. It, it's a hedge against like people who are turds and they leave you just bad feedback because they want to. The more feedback you have, uh, the more positive feedback you have, the more five stars you have, the less likely it insulates your account from the rogue uh, eBay user. So if you sell cheap items and you don't make a lot on it at least you know that you're getting that insulation just make sure if you're going to sell something cheap make sure it's good quality so that you do not absolutely do not um, get a negative feedback for like an item you only made three bucks for that's the absolute worst let's see what the next item is here Okay, this is a crazy story. It's a 1970. It was a frantic fiver, fliver, fliver, whatever the heck it's called. Um, I sold this. This was a guy that I buy a lot of stuff from. You'll see a lot of my haul videos. Uh, there's a guy that brings a lot of stuff to my store. He brought this in, and it was pretty crazy. He brought it in about three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. I listed it, and the same day it sold, he brings me more stuff in, and he brings me the box to it. And I'm like, crazy. Because I sold it for ten forty six. I could have probably have gotten twenty five bucks out of it with the box. So I would have much rather have had that box. That would have been nice. But I saved the box. If I come across another one at auction, I will buy it, marry it to the box, and I will be able to sell it. Uh sold the second door plate or the the the, the knob and the key plate. Uh, I didn't make a ton on it. Sold it for fourteen twenty one with five twenty nine shipping. I think I bought it on the half off day, which was seven dollars and fifty cents, and it was five nineteen shipping. So by the time it was said and done, I made six bucks on it, and they paid shipping. Uh, let's see here, Tupperware. This was probably I don't even know why I listed it. It was seven forty six is what it sold for, free shipping. It was a wash. It was just a wash. Um, sometimes I will buy items without looking stuff up. I'll be like, eh, I can pick that up. It's Tupperware. I'm going to pay uh, 50 cents for it. And if it doesn't sell, guess what? I'm just going to list it on eBay. I don't have to pack it. I don't have to do all that stuff. My wife does that. It gets packed. It gets sent out. And if it's in good shape, I'll get that positive feedback. And that's worth what little profit I make. And the positive feedback really, really makes it worthwhile. Um, this is a uh, this is a Marklin Marklin Mini Cub. It's a Z scale. Um, it is 8980 plastic model kit, locomotive uh, little shed. Uh, I sold it for 52.46. I bought it. Had next to nothing in it. It was in a buy that I got from Terry White's auction. And Walmack, Missouri, if you're ever in Missouri, you're ever near Walmack, great little auction. Um, go down there and you can find some stuff like this every once in a while. But I bought all of this. I paid $100 for everything. I sold one engine, made all my money back, and everything else has been like crazy. Like, not all, Mar whatever this is, Markland, it's the Z scale, N scale. The Z scale, N scale, the little train stuff, it sells great. H scale doesn't sell nearly as good. So, Remember that if you're going to buy train stuff, make sure it's a little engage. 
I mean, you can buy whatever you want, but if you want to make the big bucks, this size uh, scale is the smaller stuff is what people really, really like. It's not as common. And our last item here is another wash. I paid 50 cents for this, $5.96 medium mail, $3 shipping, $3.50, probably another dollar eBay fees. I made a buck on it. And I don't list this stuff anymore. This is taken out front here on my wooden desk here. And um, I don't list out there anymore. That thing's been listed forever. Mark stuff down 25% to blow it out. Get my money back out of it without me having to throw it away to where it doesn't have to go into a landfill. Don't have to donate it. It finds a home. And this one found a home. So that's pretty much everything in this video. I really appreciate you guys for watching. We're at about the 16 minute mark. I hope if you have not already done so, I hope that you would hit the subscribe button. I hope that if you haven't already done so, that you will go up to the top, take a minute. It doesn't take a lot of time to go up and just hit that subscribe button and to hit that thumbs up button. Because if you like this kind of content, I'm going to be bringing a lot more of it to the channel. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys for watching. I love you guys. Uh, keep on digging. Keep on picking. And as always, God bless you guys.